Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's B. Avery here for another trailer reaction. This one right here is Dark Phoenix 20th Century Fox trailer number two. I remember the first trailer came out many, many months ago. Was not uh, impressed that much. I remember a long time ago I said I'm really not looking forward to this movie. I've just lost all faith into 20th Century Fox, to be honest with you. But, you know, that's okay. They're getting sucked up by Disney. But we have this trailer here directed by Simon Kimberg with this directorial debut. So I'm going to give it a chance. So let me go ahead and stop wasting your time. Put on these headphones and you guys can stop listening to me talk and watch me watch this trailer. Here we go. She's crying. Why did up. you make me do that? Look at me. Focus on my voice. I'm not giving up on you, Jean. She my was my gets friend. Worse every movie. You're my family, Jean. Stop. No matter what. Stop. 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 You're special, Jean. And if you stop fighting that force inside you, if you embrace it, you will possess the very power of a god. She'll kill us all. Wow. Oh, shit. Come on, Magneto. Oh, we fixed this, Charles. Tell me what to do. I don't know what to do. Yeah, what they don't understand. What they fear and what they fear. We seek to destroy. Wow. That's just your fault, Charles. I tried to protect her. I'm scared. When I lose control, bad things happen. The girl dies. She's still Jean. We can still help her. Sometimes you want to believe people are something that they are not. <laughs> By the time you realize who they are. Jean! It's too late. Too late. I like that. What y'all gonna do? June seventh. Well, um, I'm just gonna be honest. I was not blown away by that. Some of the effects did look pretty cool, but um, yeah. I mean, I was gonna say it looks you know real dark and grim, but at the same time, that's kind of what the Phoenix is in a way. Uh, dark phoenix um but some of that acting in that film especially from cyclops charles tell me what to do what do you want me to do that, that just was not good right there and who is the um who is the um who is the who was the um, the the white lady with the white hair like everybody in this thing white was up storm but i'm talking about with the white hair i don't know who i don't know who that was i'm looking i'm looking all this i'm looking at this right now on uh imdb of course, Phoenix, Raven, Beast, Magneto, Cyclops, Storm, Nightcrawler is in this. Okay. Do y'all know who it is? Please let me know down in the comment section below. I bet y'all are screaming at me right now. Brandon, it's this person right now. How do you not know your X-Men people or whatever? I don't know. But um, this is being directed by Simon Kingberg. He is usually, he's the he's been the producer on all of these 20th century, 21st century Fox X-Men films as of late. And, um... This is his directorial debut, and I've heard and from the reporting great sources that the film is so bad, 20th Century Fox is just scared. They don't know what to do, and, you know, but, of course, they've already made the film. They have to release it. You know, they don't want to be losing money, but I, I remember a long time ago when it was announced that he was directing it. It was like, why would you have 
I mean, yeah, you're a writer, yeah, you're a producer, but that is just not directing, you know, and you just have no experience whatsoever. So why would they, you know, g- give that to Simon Kimberg? I mean, yeah, he has some power over 20th Century Fox. He was very involved in uh, X-Men Days of Future Past. But, um, you know, I don't know. I'm just not excited for this. Um, I'm just ready for Di- uh, Disney to go ahead and swallow 20th Century Fox up so we can go ahead and get our X-Men characters rebooted into the mcu i thought i saw something today that said or yesterday talking about tom cruise i mean that's just rumors and stuff maybe wolverine i don't know how i feel about that one right there um you know but we're just we're just gonna have to see and again simon kimberg you know what what films he he's produced so many but he you know x-men first class which is my favorite x-men film x-men days of future past like i said uh fantastic four you know, Deadpool, X Men, Apocalypse, Logan. You know, he he's Deadpool, Deadpool too. You know, he he's been there. So you know, I'm not I'm not gonna say that, but you know, hopefully we can get some type of entertainment from this. Uh, and it just it's so unfortunate because Phoenix is such a badass character, like real talk. Uh, but I'm just really not looking forward to this. You know, um, even with Jennifer Lawrence Mystique, it's just, you know, we all know that she doesn't want to be there anymore. And I'm saying this like if you're following the following the reporting and all that good stuff. But we're just going to have to see, guys. We're just going to have to see. But that is just my opinion for X-Men Dark Phoenix trailer number two. What did you think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you like my reaction? Did you hate it? Do you agree with me or you disagree? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. But you can still subscribe to my channel. Look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all that good stuff. It's right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy by providing links to all that down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review slash reaction for X-Men Dark Phoenix trailer number two. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.